Yeah, Richard, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take your uh, Gucci slides. Is that cool? <laughs> What's Gucci? We are here back in Japan, Ikebukuro right now, and uh, we have a fun day in store. We're actually heading to a place called Shoot. What was it called? Yo, where are we where are we going today? J World. As I was saying, we're going to J World today. It's an absolute otaku anime weebu paradise. They got like anime showcases. I think they have a Pokemon store, like a Pokemon store, bro. They also have, I think, a Gundam store, and you guys know I'm a total freaking freak for Gundam. And there might be a hentai shop in there. You know I love my Japanese comics. What kick should I wear today? Why? Why do you ask? It's just we got a crazy rotation here. Ooh. I, just, I just don't know what to pick. Should I wear the Fragment Converse? Fragment Converse. The Ramones. Wait, you're saying Fragment is a collab with other shoes that aren't Air Jordans? Yeah, and these are way sicker. Mm. Yas, work it, Richard. Yas, slay. Ooh, ooh, you just got a Tinder match. Oh, yeah. Dude, I'm tempted to just buy this. Yeah, right? How much is that? 20 bucks? 20 bucks for the airport. 20 bucks. Man finna cop right now. Let's go. Ooh, check it out. They got some like white and green dunks here. Okay. The mocha threes. Here's a quick look at the thrift. If you guys missed the other vlog, I got some SB dunks. Oh, I knocked something down. Some Chinese New Year SB dunks. Got some Cardinal 7s. Black Jordan 10s. Undefeated EQT Advanced uh, Collab. Black Metallic 5s. Some Y3s. That green hoodie is a Supreme hoodie too. Where'd they go? They totally ditched me. Where did they even go? Bro, I don't have Wi Fi. I am totally screwed. <laughs> These clowns are over here just penny boarding. today. Nathan, what do you get? Water. Big ass water. Hydrate. What are you getting? What are you getting? You already know. I'm getting this for the extra vitamin D. You already know. Do they have Gatorade or, or Powerade here? I can't find any Gatorade or Powerade here. So this stuff right here, vitamin water, is honestly the next best thing. It tastes like that lemon water that you can make at home, but like 10 times better. So I have like one mosquito bite this entire trip so far, and look at it. It's like growing a freaking leg on my thumb. This sucks, it's so sore and itchy. Culture in Japan compared to Canada is so, so, so different. You could honestly leave this camera right here on this table for 30 minutes and nobody would touch it like no one steals stuff here people leave their bikes unlocked in front of their house everywhere then when it comes to locking your bike you're not allowed to lock your bike publicly anywhere else except for these like designated parking spots it's pretty cool and very very well organized on top of that this is like the cleanest city I've ever been in in my entire life like no one litters here everyone does a really good job like caring for the environment so you never find like random trash lying around the streets at least in Ikebukuro Yo, look at this guy, pro time lapser out here. Okay, okay. Here's my thing coming right here. Ooh, that looks good. Domo. This is a uh, barbecue beef. 
with some kimchi on it. it. Looks really good. And then we also got some miso soup as well. The cool thing about this restaurant is that you actually like order your meals on these small computers at the very front of the restaurant, and then they come serve you at this big giant oval table. There's also some 24-hour locations, and we went to one by a club just the other day. So if you're ruby drunk, this might be a place you end up at. Eating in Japan has honestly been a struggle because they've been using nothing but chopsticks. But you know. We do what we gotta do. Look, I got so much rice right here. Amazing. Nathan is gonna teach me how to use chopsticks. Let's try. get it. Okay. He's gonna try. All right. Well, like I don't, I don't do it properly either. So like, don't, don't like take my advice as like the proper advice. Okay. Like, literally, like I put my two fingers here. Yeah. I put another finger here with my thumb there, and I just kind of like. Yeah. I put that that finger. Yeah. yeah. Like, rest it on your on your ring finger. Yo, that was really, really good. I am stuffed and the food is relatively cheap, like for what you're getting. And I also got a soup, but I don't mess with the soup. Gave it to Nathan. This guy just destroyed the meal. It was lit. One little problem we've been getting on the channel lately is there's been a lot of negative feedback on the dabbing. Apparently, dabbing was so 2016, and if you're dabbing in 2017, something is wrong with you. And Nathan, how do you, how do you feel about that, man? If you guys didn't know, Pokemon Go is insanely lit in Japan. Just look at this. There's like a bajillion Pokemon Go stops just within a block. This is insane. I'm in like paradise right now. One really cool thing about Japan is that they have like model food on display at restaurants. So you can sort of see what you're looking at. Not just like pictures, but it's like 3D freaking plates. It's insane. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at this. McDonald's is a Pokemon stop that is lit. One thing you might have seen in some animes or manga are love hotels. There's one right behind me. This is the Hotel Park side. And if you don't know what a love hotel is, basically it's a hotel where you can like pay by the hour and like, you know, have some sexy time with your waifu pillow. Uh So massive intersection right here. We have to check out ABC Mart because it's a sneaker store with a bunch of stuff and it's three floors and they got some sales going on. So how how can we resist this? Right off the bat, we got some Air Forces, some sock darts, Air Maxes again. Here's a look at some of the NMDs. Nothing we haven't seen before. Bro, I am just trying to find some Yeezys, fam. Where the Yeezys at? Love for Talk is happening, guys. Welcome to the new episode of Love for Talk. I'm here with your host, Nathan from Kenshi, Toronto. I'm Nathan from Kenshi, but this is Love for Talk. We're not here for me. We're here for the loafers. Oh, that boost, though. That boost looks really good, man. Holy crap. What are those? All right, so we're going to go to the second floor where they got some sports shoes. Nike on the third, Adidas with the Yeezys on the fourth. Texting slash games while walking can be dangerous. You got that? No Pokemon Go for you. No more. I'm cutting you off. Powerface Calabasas here. Oh, baby, restock. Bear Sockany up in here. Look at all the selection. Okay, okay. Ooh, we got some Bape, <laughs> Bape Sockany collabs right here. You got the Camouflage. These right here. I think I might buy these today or later this week. But they are the old school Lowe's and uh, it has this checkered print. These are really, really dope. And they also have the authentic checkers. Nathan, how do you feel about these uh, vans right here? Resale is life. Resale is life. <laughs> what do you like better? Do you like the authentic ones right here or do you like these old school ones instead? I prefer the old schools. Okay, nice. Yeah, I yeah, feel yeah. you. I feel you. The box it's on is actually really cool too. Ooh, look at these. These beautiful Tiger Camel yeah. van skit highs. Damn, you know bro. These go perfect with? What? A tiger camel babe tea from Kinshi Toronto. You already know. Yo, look at these pumas though. Like snakeskin, Gucci vibes right here. We also got these like Ferrari pumas. Nike floor. Here we go. Maybe they have Jordans here. These right here, these Bape Air Jordan ones. Definitely gonna have to cop these. Oh, they got some Pure Money 4s. Okay. I bought these for my mom. You bought them for your mom? Yeah. You're a legend. Pure Money 7s. Pure Money 7s. I don't even think these are Pure Money. What are these? I called? think they are. Are they? They might be. I'm not sure. Okay. They're on sale too. They also got the uh, Alternate Motorsport 4s. They got these too. These are wild. These are like red ones almost, but it's gray instead of black. So they're like. Gred, gred ones? Dude, though, the camo, though, is like 3M. So sick. And this is supposed to be like a premium Jordan 1 release. AJ. Yo, it's like the Cos, eh? Yeah, it's like a Cos logo, basically, you know? But for much, much cheaper. The sweet quality on this is really, really good. I am super tempted to buy these, because these are only like $175 Canadian. No tax. No tax. Steals for days. Are you after some Yeezys, Nathan? Always. Always? Always. What, what, what flavor? 
chocolate. Dig these XR ones. I can mess with these. Vape Adidas backpack. Okay, okay. We're here at the boost section. Some gray UBs. What else we got in here? What else we got in here? We got some, uh, ooh, these are pretty cool. Burgundy Pure Boost. And the price though, that's a good price, damn. Yo, there's a Sega store. We have to come back here, that's for sure. It's an arcade? Hell yeah. So that building right there, that building says Seiyu. It's, you can't really see it because the lights are blurry, but uh, it is Japanese Walmart. So we might do a $100 Japanese Walmart challenge because that's going to be a lot of fun. Yo, this is crazy. Ask Ketchum is right outside of the Pokemon store. Let's go check it out. This bag is sick. Check it out. Pikachu liner on the inside. And this navy blue one has like Pikachu wearing Ash's hat <laughs> from different generations. Wow, these are pretty cool. These are just like little sleeves for your phone. So you just put your phone in them and then you toss them into your bag and you don't have to worry about them getting scratched or anything like that. They have them in all of the Eevee evolutions right here. Got some buttons, giant Pokemon buttons for each of the Eevee evolutions as well. Some pins, yo, if you love Eevee and you love the Eevee family, this place is the place to be. What is this? What is this? Oh, it's like a notepad inside here. Yo, I'm about to spend so much money at the Pokemon store. I think this is more of the kitty section right here. We got some like socks for very, very tiny feet. We got a Pokemon little tote bag with like cartoon characters of the uh, Pokemon. And then we got Pichu, a fairy. Yo, I am, I'm about to like go crit, what? What, these stickers though. They got this Charizard ass Ketchum and Pikachu like model thing right here. How much is this thing? It's like, uh, ah, it's like a hundred bucks. Damn, bruh. Damn. Here's a bunch of these plushies from the Eevee evolution. We got Eevee, Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, Espeon. I don't know this one, to be honest. This is a new one. I don't know this one either. I don't know this one either. I know this is a starter from the new series. And, oh, we got Umbreon. Homeboy Umbreon over here. Man, I feel so out of date. I feel like I want to buy an Umbreon though. Over here we have some, I think, fitteds. Yeah, some Pokemon fitteds. We got some more Pokemon stickers that are water and light resistance. I might have to put one of these on my, uh, my laptop, honestly. And then what is this? Is this like a mini sticker set? Yeah, this is like a mini sticker set. Dang, bro. I'm gonna buy maybe some stuff from the store and I will give them away. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and stick around the video to uh, learn more about those giveaways. Yo, plushy galore up in here. Look at all these things. Look at these Bulbasaurs though. It's so soft. Oh my gosh. Yo, do you know the names of these new Pokemon? This one, I have no idea, dude. I don't know, this one. I don't know that one either. Yeah. I have the game. I have the latest game. I just... Rufflet. Oh wait, no, this one is Litten, right? Litten. Litten. Oh, yeah, 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 it's yeah. lit because he's lit. And then we got Mewtwo, the homeboy. This one's like not a soft. This one's like a hard ass. <laughs> he's like really stiff. Hey, Pikachu on vacation. Bro, they got Dragonite. They got Dragonite. They got a freaking sleeping Pikachu. They got Clefairy. Yo. Oh, Totodile. Yo, I feel like a freaking six year old again. I feel like her right now. Check this out. Pokemon face mask things. Who needs a babe face mask when you can become a freaking Charmander? overnight. So the store is closing up. We have to rush, so I can't film too much of the store that's left. But uh, I'm gonna go see if there's anything I wanna buy. Look at these phone cases. So many phone cases. Your boy's just trying to find some Pokemon cards because apparently Japanese Pokemon cards are super lit and they're super cheap. So yeah, let's find some really dope Pokemon cards. Look at 
at all these Pokemon cards. This is crazy. Only $2 for like a pack of five cards here. There's so much stuff. We're definitely gonna have to buy some Pokemon cards and give them away. Pikachu, Mewtwo, Mew. I'm gonna buy a few of these because Pokemon Gold was like my game growing up. My first Pokemon game. So in honor of Ho-Ho, we'll, we'll grab two of these. And in honor of the Kanto region, we'll grab two of these. Are guaranteed like holographic cards. Okay, so we gotta get these for sure because they're gonna be like for like giveaways and stuff, you know. Yeah. I and think then Christian's gonna cut yeah. their Pokemon. Card. I'm gonna I'm gonna win so many Pokemon card tournaments. Watch out, world! All right, so we're buying five of these packs right now, and uh, we'll unpack them at the end of the video, and I'll let you guys know how the giveaway is gonna work out. Okay. Come on. Alright, so we're back home in Toronto as you guys can tell and don't worry the Japan vlogs are not done I just did not open the packs while I was in Japan So we have the packs to open right now now I got five packs We'll open them over the course of the next couple of days couple of weeks and we'll give away a bunch of the cards So in this pack of Japanese Pokemon cards, there is six cards to my understanding So we're gonna be giving away all six cards and if you want to enter and win any of these cards There's a couple of steps. I need you guys to follow Step number one is to subscribe to the channel. Hit that red button down below and turn on post notifications. Hit that bell too. Very, very important you do that. Once you've done that, hit that thumbs up button for the vlog, like it. And then the third step is to comment which card from the pack you want. And if there's a card in here I don't know the name of, then I'll just number them off and you guys can tell me which one you want. Now, if you want to win some free vape or enter to win some free Yeezys and other sneakers, make sure you follow me on Instagram. It is at sneakertalkca. I'll be doing some giveaways over there and there's also a baby giveaway running right now but anyways you guys are here for some pokemon cards so let's open this thing up all right so here we have it this is the pack i really like the japanese packaging they use for these pokemon cards it's very very cool let me rip this open i feel bad almost destroying it i want to like just keep the packaging because it's really cool but we'll rip it open if we can here we go oh wow damn that's dope. That's really dope. So here we have it. Six Pokemon cards. Let's see what we got. First up, we have, I don't know. What, what, what is this? It's a black fox. So we'll call this card number one. Next up is the evolved form of the homie Totodile. We have Crocodile. Third card is, I think his name is Beldum. It's the evolved form of this shroom mushroom thing. And I think this is third gen with Ruby, Emerald, and uh, Sapphire. So Beldum or the grass Pokemon. That's the third Pokemon. This is a newer one. I don't recognize him, but he's a psychic type. And uh, yeah, so the psychic Pokemon, you can call him that if you'd like. Is that a Palkia? Or is, it's one of the legendaries. One of the legendary Pokemons. So legendary Pokemon card, here you go. And the very last card is a trainer. It is the Ultra Ball card. So yeah, there you go. So in the comments down below, comment Pokemon card and then number one, number two, number three, number four, or number five, the holographic. So comment which Japanese Pokemon card you want and do all the other steps I mentioned earlier. I'll leave it in a pinned comment so you guys can follow the exact steps. And I'll just randomly select one person who likes and comments on my most recent Instagram post of me standing outside a 7-Eleven with a popsicle and the Pokemon manga, and I will send this to them. So uh, yeah, one person who randomly comments and likes on that post will get this card. But anyways, that's gonna wrap up today's Japan vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, uh, make sure you stick around for the other videos as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.